So I went ahead and uh, blended the 25, uh, made up a blend of 25% stale gas and 25% fresh gas and 50% uh, waste vegetable oil. And it sat in my blending tank for about 24 hours. And I've extracted, uh, I've drained off basically the sludge off the bottom of the tank, which is not very sludgy because the oil was pretty clean. And I'm going to use this as my sample to test the uh, viscosity and specific gravity to see if the blend is good or not. And so I'm going to uh, pour this fuel sample into the 500 milliliter graduated cylinder. And we'll go ahead and measure it. Temperature, then it's specific gravity, then it's viscosity. Since I brought the sample in from outside, uh, it's taken a few minutes to for the sample to uh, temperature to equilibrate, but it's uh, 63.1 Fahrenheit and 17.2 C. Now we'll go ahead and use the uh, 0 0.80 to 0.850 um, hydrometer. and it's floating off scale so it's a little on the dense side which the last sample was as well so we'll go ahead and, and use the 0.85 to 0.9 hydrometer It's actually off scale. It's uh, more dense than 0 0.900. It's about 0 0.901. Okay. Viscosity. We're off scale on this uh, vis cup. It looks to me like uh, I need to extract another sample. Because the sludge at the bottom of the tank may be too viscous. I just extracted a second sample out of my blending tank and we'll see out of the bottom of my blending tank and we'll see if this is any less uh, um, dense or less um, or less viscous. Well, let's measure this. Temperature first, it's going to be cold. Okay, it's 62.9. Seventeen point five C. Uh, and that's still dense.
I'm still reading point nine zero one. Our specific gravity, which means it's probably just as viscous, so I'm not going to measure it. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to extract, drain off a thick oil from the bottom of the tank until it runs, starts to run thin. Okay, so I, I uh, withdrew five gallons of something at the bottom of my blending tank that didn't even smell, have the smell of gasoline. It only smelled like vegetable oil. So, uh, and then I extracted another sample. So let's go ahead and measure its temperature. And uh, see what we've got. 64.0 or 17.8. Okay, so now let's the specific gravity. And it's still very dense. I'm going to keep this, uh, extracting uh, oil from the bottom of the tank until I <laughs> get something thin. Okay, so at this point, I, with, with, I have withdrawn almost 10 gallons of oil that has no smell of gasoline in it at all. It just smells like vegetable oil. Which says that the blend of stale gas with regular gasoline is not blending well with the vegetable oil even though my sample that I experimented with earlier did blend and uh, for some reason this stale gas is being very stubborn about blending into vegetable oil it may blend into motor oil better but if it won't blend into vegetable oil I'm going to assume it's not going to blend into motor oil easily anyway we'll experiment here with another sample and see what we have. And it still looks pretty viscous. Okay, we have 64.4 Fahrenheit or 18C. And this time I'll try the Point nine or point eight five to point nine zero hydrometer. All right, we're in the ballpark. It's point eight five. Point eight five one. So let's check the viscosity. All right, point four three point nine seconds. So it looks as though the stale gas limits the ability of uh, the gasoline to go into solution with vegetable oil. So we've created 10 gallons of blend that's the right viscosity. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and run with that. In fact, 0 0.43.9 or 43.9 seconds. Puts us right at about 45% uh, gasoline in that blend. You'd think that there'd be a lot more uh, gasoline just floating at the top and it'd be a lot thinner. Uh, hmm. The only explanation I have for that is 
five gallons of the oil that I put in was olive oil, not canola oil. And olive oil is a lot more viscous than canola oil, so maybe that has something to do with it. Who knows? We'll run it and find out.